Hello, welcome to Zigma Tech Learning Hub. I will be your instructor for mathematics. For this class, we are going to be taking our exercises from the exam guide app. If you don't have the application already installed on your device, I will want you to download the app in order to follow along in this class. Exam Guides is a leading educational app that helps students prepare adequately for various exams like UTME, post-UTME, YEC, GC, KCPE, IJMB, JUPEP, Carbopedia, BESE, JSCE, NCEE, and NECO, ETC. You can download the app from www.examguide.com or Google Play Store. Please subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to be updated on new videos. Ready for today's class, okay? Let's get started. Welcome once again to set theory two. I'm going to consider the Venn diagram in this topic. At the end, you're expected to solve problems on set. Handle problem of two by two Venn diagram and that of three by three Venn diagram. Problems on set. Before we venture into that Venn diagram, let us take a look at this particular question. If the universal set positive integers are given, list the members of the following sets. Note that zero is neither positive nor negative number. So set A is given as x is to else greater than 7. Set B is given as greater than minus 3. Then C s is to s minus 3 equals 0. Then d plus 2 equals 0. Now, we are interested to list the elements. This imply that a s to s is greater than 7, meaning a we start with 8, 9, 10, dot, dot, dot. This is called an infinite set because it has no limit, it has no end. So for set B, this will imply S is, S is greater than minus 3, many minus 2, minus 1, 0. 1, 2, to continue to go. But remember, we were told that 0 is not part of it. So odd numbers greater than minus 3. Since 0 is not part of it, meaning here, we we'll cut off this place. So B will give us what? 1, 2, 3. You can say dot, dot, dot to this. That's the elements of the set A, because you are working with instruction. Then for C, S is to S minus 3 equals 0, meaning S equals what? 3. So the answer here is what? Just 3. When you solve this in form of an equation, you're trying to say S minus 3 is equal to 0. You collect like terms, it means S equals what? 3. So the element of C is what? Just 3. Now let us consider D. So D equals what? The same way we solve this, S plus 2 equals 0. When you collect like terms, S equals minus 2. So D is this, minus 2. Meaning from the instruction, in the question given to us, minus 2 is not part of the set. Therefore, set D equals what? Empty. This or this. 
So let us go into the main thing now, the Venn diagram. Look at it. First of all, two by two set theory, or two by two Venn diagram. How do we know a Venn diagram? That is two by two. How do we know two by two? Look at the way you can identify that a given question is two by two. They say 50 students were asked what they did last night. Students said they, re they read a book, 41 said they watched television. If seven said they did neither, how many did both? How many students are here? How many different students are here? Who have 50, 50 students, but who have two different activities, meaning two by two Venn diagram. When you have three different activities, you can sort three by three Venn diagram. Now, the question is limited to what? Two by two. Now it's limited to two by two. According to John Venn, he said, when you have this, draw Venn diagram one, two, you can decide to say the number of people that read their book, let it be what? B for B. Why? Those watching television, television we what T, meaning I have B, I have T. How many students? Universal set is what fifty. Look at the way I'm listing it. Now, how many people are involved in reading of their books? Forty one. 16, 16, you're right. Those watching television equals 41, you're right. Now, some people said they, they did neither. That seven can be here. Or if you like, it can be here. It can be, it can be anywhere, provided it's not entering into the set of book, television, you are free to fix it anywhere you like to fix it. Now, when you have a set, this point here is called an intersection. But the intersection is not known, so you can call it x. Here it's not given. That is the real people for books. The real people that watch television, we are, they are not known. You can call them p and q. So how do you sort out this question, or how do you handle this question? We are interested in knowing the number of people that did both, that is, reading of book and watching of television. For instance, let us say, for this particular book, see the diagram, see it. P, attachment of X, Y book itself is what, 16 people. See it. I can say that 16, this guy here is a quad P plus X. I call it what? Equation one. So that for television, I can sell 41 equals Q plus X. I call it equation two. Set theory is Venn diagram is very easy when you know what you are doing. S to simplify this further, you can see that we have two unknown. We also have two unknown. So to make this work easier for you, you can just say 16 minus x is equal to p. And 41 minus x is equal to q. So whenever, wherever I see P and the Q, I will give them a name. What are they? See it here now. This is S. This is P. What is P? 16 minus S. What is Q? 41 minus S. So B, already there, as 16. T, as 41. The universal set as what? 50. Nida is also involved. Now, to get the rating, 
There is a direct formula you will use so that you understand the how you can know when you are making a mistake. So that formula is a number of people who read book, you know, number of people who watch television equals the number of people for book plus number of people for television minus number of people who did the both thing, that is B intersection T, then plus neither. That is, number of people here is what, 50. Those for book, 16. Those for television, 41. Those who did both is unknown, plus who, 7. So what do you have? 50 equals, this is 6, 1. 57 minus S plus 7. They give us 50 equals 64 minus X. When I collect like tens, I will have 50 minus 64 equals minus X. So to finish my solution here, I will now have S equals what? This is minus, six, minus 14 minus 14 equals minus s minus will cancel minus to so give me s is who 14. this another method of doing it now to conclude the one with diagram the one we called equation one equation two which is another method it's your choice if you prefer this just know this formula but be very careful Whenever there is no neither in a given question, don't bother yourself saying plus neither. You just end with the intersection. That's minus the intersection. Number of people that were involved in both things. But I prefer this equation one because the analysis is very easy. You analyze and combine whatever you have. Look at all you have here. Watch them. I have this, 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 this. Meaning, who is the owner of these places? This, 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 meaning universal set. That's to say that 50, universal set equals who? 16 minus x plus x minus s. That's plus s plus 41 minus s plus who? 7. Look at what happened now. 50 equals this plus this plus this is still what? 64 minus s plus s is gone then the remain minus s 50 minus 64 equals minus s minus 14 equals minus s cancel cancel s equals who 14. can you see what's going on this and this they are all the same so any method you prefer using while you solve your venn diagram good for you but make sure that you are very careful whenever there is no neither in the formula one, do not introduce neither. This is question two. The question two is talking about in a village, all the people speak Igbo, English, or both of them. If 97% speak Igbo and 64 speak English language, what percentage speak both languages? Now, you have to know two villages or two languages are involved but in a particular village. What are the languages? Igbo and English language. So, let us make them to become two different entities. That is, set one, set two. For Igbo, let us represent it with I. Why for English language, let us represent it with what? E. So let those that speak Igbo be represented with capital I. Why those in English language be represented with what? Capital E. So I equals what? 97 percent y e equals to what 64 percent 
Now, the people that can speak both languages, that is E, I, intersection, E equals U, question mark unknown. Bringing it to a Venn diagram, I will have this. This is the first one, the second one, unknown, which is question mark. You can use another alphabet of your choice. It mustn't be S. It can be K, Y, Z. Any one of your choice here is I, which is 97%. This is E, 64%. This time around, there is no need. You can see that we don't have universal set, but we are dealing with percentage. Simply means that the universal set here will be what? 100. 100%. So, if you want to get here, let's say K, Z, that is 97% equals K plus X, equation 1. Y, 64% equals Z plus X. Equation 2, so that 97 minus S will give us what K, and 64% minus S will give us what Z. So wherever we see K and Z, we we'll call them the value we have assigned to them. That is to say, this, this, this S, this is K, or is K, 97 minus S. What is Z? 64 minus S. Total is 100%. So this is still Igbo English language. So to get everything done now, we we'll have to say that the universal set, the mother set, equals what? 97 minus S plus S plus 64 minus s, okay? So that we'll have 100 equals 97 plus 64. This is 11, f 15, 16. 161 minus s plus s cancel minus s. When you collect like terms, 100 minus 161 equals minus s, so that minus 61 equals minus s. Cancel, cancel. They give us what? 61%. So for intersection, we we'll have how many people? We we'll have 61, which is the intersection. Now to analyze this set, to make it look real, here is what? 61%. 97 minus 61, you give us 636%. So, that is not our interest anyway. Our interest here is that the number of people that can speak the two language is what? 61%. If you still want to try the other methods I told you of, let us check and see what will happen to that effect. So we have that universal set, that is number of I union E equals number of I Igbo language plus number of people that speak English language minus number of people in intersection. Uh, those speaking Igbo and the English language. That is 100% equals for Igbo is 97% plus English, 64% minus those. So this plus this is still the same thing. 161% minus S. So 100 minus 161 equals minus S, so that minus S can take care of minus 61. S will now give us what? 61%. So 61% is the number of people that can speak 
the two languages. That is that. Okay. We'll have another one. Still on Venn diagram. This one was drawn. You can see the diagram. This one is not in world. It is already drawn for you. But you need to be very careful about this kind of question. He said, if number of the universal set equals 30, find A, number of A intersection B complement or B prime, and number of A union B. OK, you don't need to bother yourself so much about that. But let me show you what to do about that particular question. Since we have the diagram there, this is A, diagram B. The value was here. Here is X, here is 3, here is 10, this is B, this is A. And there is what? The universal, which is what? 30. If you have this, no cause for alarm. So what do you do? Remember the analysis? I was doing when I say equation one, equation two. Use that format here. Just tell them A equals to X plus three. Then B equals to 10 plus three. Equation one, equation two. This eight you are seeing here, just the sentence, that seven you saw when we were doing the other one. I told you neither can be anywhere. So if you have this, it means that x will be what? a minus 3. y b is what? 13. We don't have value for a. We don't have, we have value for b. If here is 13. So let's see how we can link this. Because looking at this, it's not giving us exactly what we want. Although we know that x is just what? a minus 3. But the value of a is not known. So back to the question first. You have to look for a way to organize yourself so that we can sort out the value of x. So when we have s, a can have a value. So how do we sort out x? Is by remembering universal set is equal to whatever that is here. Recall, this is intersection. Union means this plus this plus this. That is just a union. That's question two, but I'm not onto that for now because we don't have value for S. So, universal set, recall, equals everything here, meaning X plus 3 plus 10 plus 8. So that 30 equals S plus, this is 18, 21. The, what is S now? S minus 21 equals to 30 minus 21 equals S. Therefore, S equals to 9. Okay, right now we have value for S, then S equals to 9. So, coming back to this place, if X is 9 and S equals A minus 3, what is A then? 9 plus 3 equals A. So, A equals to what? 12. But now we have the value of our x, though they didn't tell us to find x, but it's a must find you, it's something you must do. So, if this is this, the first question here says, find number of A intersection B complement. What are the elements of A? See A, A equals 3,9. What are the elements of B? B equals 3,10. What is the complement of B? Complement of B equals the uh, universal set is what? I have 3, I have 9, I have 8, I have 9, I have 10, I have 30. Universal set. So the complement of B is what after after that's eight nine eight and nine 
30 is the total number that is involved. 8 and 9 is the prime. Now, the intersection here will have 3, 9, and 9. But now, we are not interested in the normal intersection we have been talking about because this one said the number of people in A and in B, it will give us what? Even though we follow that, A intersection B complement equals what? What are they? 3, 9, 9. That's it. When you talk about thinking about what they have in common, it's only, okay, that's 9. But this one is talking about number of meaning this plus this. Let me use the diagram to analyze very well. From here now. See A here. And see B. What is the number that is in A? If you want to get what A and B have in common. The number that is in A, which is not in B, is the complement, the intersection. That is A intersection B prime equals what? Just call it this 9. The value of S will have 9. I just 9. Look at it. By way of listing of set elements, see, this is 3, comma 9. Okay? Then this is B prime. What is B prime? 8, comma 9. Right, what do you have in common? That is A intersection B prime, meaning I think this one is easier for you. It's what? Just. 9, which is the same thing as this. 9. So 9 is the answer to that question. So the next one is what? A union B. Union, because of this number of, I want to know how many that are there. It's just an addition. Where are they? C, A, C, the intersection, C, B. Meaning A union B number of a you know b equals 9 plus 3 plus 10. they give us what this is 12 plus 10 they give us what 22. so number of a you know b equals what 22 and that is the answer to that question that's the answer to that question now look at another venn diagram question the result of a survey of 126 students were as follow, F equals students who like what playing football, V students who like playing volleyball, T students who like playing tennis. Now, how many students like playing none of the games? Okay. Now, how many students like playing football? C. What is the value of X? How many students like playing tennis? Let us see the diagram for this question. Can you see the diagram here? Now, the first question says, how many students like neither? That's, it's not playing any part of the game. If you look at that question, but look at it now, it is what? Just 24. See neither here. So the solution to that question is 24. So 24 don't like playing any of the game. And another question there is, we should find the value of x. Now, to find value of x, we have attended to question one, the number of students who like playing none of the game equals what, 24. Now, our universal set equals what, 126. So to get the value of x, I can say, remember, everything here equals universal set. Let's say 
54 minus 2x plus 34 minus 2x plus 14 minus 2x plus x plus s plus x plus 6 plus neither which is 24 equals 126. We want to get the real value of x now. So minus 2 minus 2 minus 6 that's 6 minus 6. This is 54 plus 34 plus 14 minus 6x plus 3x plus 30 126 equals this. So 126 equals this. Let us continue. 126 equals 54 34 14 this is 12 8 9 10 102 plus 30 minus 3x 1 2 3 4 okay so that 1 2 6 equals 132 minus 3s. 1, 2, 6, 1, 3, 2, 6. So that 126 minus 132 equals minus 3s. 126 minus 132 will give us minus 6 equals minus 3s. Minus will take care of minus, meaning dividing through by 3, x equals what? 2. Therefore, the value of x is what? 2. Remember, we have a question that says, how many people like playing tennis alone? Only tennis ball. Now, the number of students that like playing tennis ball alone, tennis implies, what's the circle for tennis? Look at this. We have 6, we have S, we have S, then the center we have 14 minus 2S, and tennis itself. Now, tennis alone, tennis ball alone means just the center. You don't have business with this tennis ball alone, then football alone. Football alone is what? 54 minus 2s. Now tennis ball alone means 14 minus 2s. So what is s now? s is 2 equals tennis alone. So t alone equals 14 minus 4. Tennis ball alone is what? 10 people like playing tennis ball alone. Now let us look at the number of people who like playing football alone. Only football. For football, we have that F equals 54 minus 2S. They give us 54 minus 2 times 2 equals what? 54 minus 4. They give us what? 50 people. 50 people don't like playing, okay, like playing football alone. So that is the end of this question. When you see a 3x3 three three Venn diagram, take your time to analyze it one after the other. Don't be in a haste to continue to rush uh, because you want to get, most of you are interested in the final answer. That should not be your priority. Your priority is how do I separate this thing so that I can get my answer. But if you don't like this splitting method, there is a general formula for 3 by 3. And that formula goes this way, though it's a bit long, but just see it in case you are interested in using it. That this number of people who like football, union, volleyball, Union tennis ball equals number of people in football 
plus number of people in volleyball plus number of people who like playing tennis ball minus number of people for football versus intersection tennis uh, volleyball minus number of football intersection tennis ball minus number of volleyball intersection tennis ball make sure that all the games must appear how many times the f appear one two volleyball one two tennis ball one two so plus number of people who like all the games meaning football intersection volleyball intersection tennis ball if you have neither like we have 24 there you now say plus who neither so that will give us the solution to this question you want to try it let us see it you can see it there now uh, for football we have that there's going to be a long one but let's try to sort it out for football uh, football or football f equals to 54 minus 2s plus s plus s plus 6 to give us what minus 2s plus 2s gone meaning this plus this 60 one football for 60 that is 126 equals 60 plus number of volleyball look at volleyball i have 34 minus 2s plus s plus s plus who check that circle plus 6 meaning this will cancel this so 34 plus this is what 40 so plus 40 for volleyball now it is turn for tennis ball see diagram for tennis here already that is 14 minus 2s plus s plus s plus 6 that is 14 minus 2s plus 2s plus 6 equals 14 minus 2s plus 2s is what 0 this plus this is what 20 so plus 20 now minus number of football intersection intersection volleyball which is x then football intersection tennis ball x again uh, volleyball intersection tennis ball minus x watch the intersection you can see it is x so you are analyzing this one after the other plus number of all of them what is all of them plus six then plus neither what is neither 24 meaning that 126 equals this plus this is 100 plus this 120 plus this 126 plus this that is 1, 2, 6, 24 is 0. This is 5, 1, 50. Let's analyze this. This 100, 120. Okay, from the analysis now, we'll have that. When we substitute for the volleyball we have 60 and substituted for this 40 you sum them up after that summation you are trying to get the value of s so when you have the value of x it can give you the access to begin to think about the number of people that plays football only the number of people that like tennis ball only and the number of people that like volleyball only but this formula is too high though in our institution you make use of it maybe in your year one or year two otherwise the best one is just that splitting method you are looking at your venn diagram you are separating it 
at the end, he joined them together to get the final answer. Hence, the value of S is what? 2. So, other subsequent questions have been resolved, which you have seen. Thank you for participating in today's class. You can practice more questions using the exam guide app. The app scores and give a detailed explanation of all the questions at the end of your practice test. You can learn a particular topic of interest with different modes like study mode, mock mode, and practice mode. It also has other features that make learning fun. It is a must for all serial students. Download from www.examguide.com if you don't have it yet. See you in the next class. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell and share the videos to people that will benefit from it. Bye.